Experience always disregard the importance of therapists, and this is coming from ex beauty queen and founder of Dabota Cosmetics, um, Dabota Lawson. In an Instagram post, she said, and I quote, If only people knew how important it is to see a therapist once in a while. Nigerians especially disregard the importance of therapists. Sometimes trauma from childhood, teenage, and the early stages of your adulthood can really affect you. Some people don't even understand why a particular word, when used in reference to them, triggers ill feelings, end of quote. She went on to say, a good therapist will really do a lot of good for you. Yeah. I totally agree that um, therapists are really underrated in this part of the world. And sometimes a lot of people feel like when you're talking about therapists, it means you're cuckoo. You're not cuckoo. You just mean... <laughs> <laughs> Which one is cuckoo? <laughs> <laughs> but, but really, you're not. You just need to speak to somebody. Now, there's certain things that I would tell you, or I would tell you that, you wouldn't want to hurt my feelings. You probably tell me in the nicest way and not and be a bit biased. But if I go to a therapist, she or he is going to tell me exactly how it is. Like, brother, this is what you need to do. This is what you need to do. This is how I see it. I think you are deranged. I think you have something. I think there's something wrong with you. You know, it's going to tell me in the most straightforward way because that's what professionalism is all about. Tell me how it is and let me know how to deal with it. But if I tell a friend, everybody, because I went to the comment section, a lot of people are saying our pastors are our therapists, our mothers are our therapists, mm -hmm. our fathers are our therapists. It's not about that because your father will tell you in the most in, in the nicest way possible, but your mother will possibly tell you in the nicest way possible. But your therapist is getting paid for that. So the therapist will tell you exactly but how But they it are not is. necessarily mean people anyway. You're making no, you don't them have sound to. No, like no, they, I don't mean mean. I and just they, mean they actually they use the honest. sandwich method a lot. So they will, they will yeah, actually they, get they, you to a place where you're very comfortable. You. Yeah, they they tell, butter tell you to you open dreams. up yeah. so that you can actually dig into whatever it is. And then when you finally open up and you tell them, say, brother... <laughs> yeah, no, 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 not exactly. They kind of try to tell you how your past or whatever your experience is actually influencing your actions right now and how you can walk your way around it and not be a nuisance yeah. to the people around you and even to yourself. I They'll let you know how that childhood experience has affected you and this is why you're asking you go to a you <laughs> Well, I've age. been to a therapist to like twice and ah. so I know what I'm saying. And I went mm. on my own. I didn't and get again, nobody took okay, me I think there. I not because I was I cuckoo, speak. but because I needed to speak to somebody. Not, we have read you, I know cuckoo, because you're acting cuckoo, right? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I like the part where she says when things happen to you and you don't even understand. Mm -hmm. um, I've noticed here, I would say Nigeria, because that's why I know best. Sometimes I think there's a lot of broken people that are not even aware about how broken they are. Mm -hmm. Like in conversation, something really unacceptable will be mentioned. And then they'll be like, yeah, but it was Osha back then, Sha. Like clearly they haven't addressed it. And they can't even connect that because of that traumatic experience. I could be displaying A, B, C, and D um, behaviors. But you hear people just say things like, that's just how I am. This is just how I am. I don't know why I do that, but I just do that. And... I don't think we have a lot of like emotionally aware people, um, but as much as I agree with her, I think until mental health um, services are cheap, it's never gonna happen. Mm. Nigeria is too need driven to look at all the things that we really need to do. Like mental health, unfortunately, comes very low on the list. So by the time they finish trying to like pay for bills and eat and shelter and just basic stuff. So I don't know, except we can start to do more government initiatives where it's free to be able to talk to someone or there's a line that you can call. That way it's easier for people to volunteer without actually mm. being somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't come really cheap, but um, it's not as expensive. It's like, quite affordable. because It's quite affordable because that's something you used to. Date some girl <laughs> who was a guidance counsellor. Okay. Right? Mm. And um, she was the one that recommended where I went to when I spoke to a boss. Already, she was already like a therapist to me because anytime I feel a little bit down, come, come, come and sit down, let's talk. <laughs> and I'm like, do you understand? <laughs> let's talk. So she recommended it. And when I went there, I didn't pay for the service though, mm -hmm. but it was quite cheap because they gave me the brochure List, yeah. and all that. You pay so, hourly or something. Yeah, depends so on was, how long you want to cheap, spend. So it's not um, that but no. what, my own concern. Well, it was cheap for me, and even I'm not, what, I, what I was going to is even those that can't afford it don't see it as necessary. Like they disregard mm. it, which is what she's actually trying yeah. to say. It's not just now. It's not even now going down to those that cannot afford it. We know, of course, there are so many people that cannot afford it. Actually, us now being the capital of poverty in the yeah. world, you know, we know there are people. 
but even those that can't afford it don't understand the need, um, need for it. And um, my own concern, even as we get towards the part where we begin to understand mental health properly, yes, I know we'll get there no matter how long it will take, is the unprofessionalism that comes into everything that has to do with Nigeria. So mm. over there, yeah, I'm you getting go to a, judged. Do you know you go to a therapist and you know that this is confidential, even if the whole of CIA and CID or whatever comes to them, mm. you have to actually go to a competent judge who would now agree that it is possible. And sometimes you can never even get mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. right to get into that. But That's if <laughs> here yeah, you don't even need all that, you will see the therapist that will go and tell the neighbor that hmm, huh. you do know LC came in today. I mean, the, our level of professionalism yeah. in, in everything, if we bring it into this space yeah. is going to even break people yeah. more and that. i hope let's, that let's they can even more. have an association or have a body that can actually hold them accountable because i have a lot of bodies here let's that even are ignore the professionalism let's talk about the judgy judgy culture we have in At this the, part you of think the world even be judging you know us. like you'll be telling somebody that okay so i have this problem you know hmm. okay go on okay <laughs>